talk of the death and I'm housing that bitch. Bleed it to death. Feed on my niggas, then leave it to death. I've been so good with this shit. Do you What's up with y'all, man? We back outside. Now let, now let me hurry up and tell y'all the damn story before these planes come. I can already hear one coming right now. But anyway, so uh, this is the story about the best game and the worst cramp all together that I've ever had. So it's freshman year of high school. No one say this is like my best game, but it definitely was like the funnest one. Okay, so freshman year, we chilling. We it's the last game of the year, right? Going up against McLean High School. And if you know, you if you know, if you go to Hoover, you know McLean and Hoover. You know what I'm saying? We got like a what's up with you, fly? You know what I'm saying? What's going on with you? But but so yeah, we always got a little thing going on. We got the little Revolution Bowl now. We always play them, and it's always normally the best game of the year for us. So it's freshman year. You know what I'm saying? We, we we getting ready to play them. Now all week and all month, I've been I've been at my coach. I've been hounding dude. I'm like, yo, if we get up in the game, if we get up, give me the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like if we get up in the game, give me the rock. I'ma score it. I guarantee you I'ma score it. And Coach was like, nah, bro, you're not gonna score it. Like, you're not fast enough. You, you're not about to get in there. I'm like, listen, if we up, you get me the ball, I'm getting in there. So, long story short, you know what I'm saying? We we practiced it a little bit in practice. Just a, just a little bit. You know, me run, me having the ball, you know, me getting the ball, it was a rarity, but it happened three times over my life and one time it actually worked because there was one time where I actually you know got practice on it when I when I got the practice on it see that's when you know that's when you know what I'm saying but other, every other time I got the ball is when you know it's just like a random like it's just like a random time right so this the game comes up we ready okay we score six. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? We, we, about to, we about to see. Kick the field goal. We got seven now. I'm like, all right. Okay, cool. They get the ball. I'm on defense. I get a sack. It's third down. They, they punt. Okay. We get 13. Kick a field goal. Got 14. I'm like, the, the time might come. Like, we back on defense. You know what I'm saying? My boy Atterbury, get a, give him a little tackle. You know what I'm saying? Big Blueberry 60, you know. He was in the videos before, but you know what I'm saying? But uh, he, he get him a little tackle. And then, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, if we go up 21, like, <laughs> like you might have to just, you know. So I'm like, okay. We up, we up 20. It is, it is still first half, you know. I think it's, by this time, it's, it's round, like, late late first early second quarter so you know what i'm saying we go back down go back down the field score again we got 21 now so i'm looking at my coach and he looking at me and i'm like yo he's like nah <laughs> so you know we we looking at it and i'm looking at the situation and i'm like okay well what's the worst that could possibly happen i mean the worst that could happen was me fumbling and then they getting it back right I can already hear a plane coming, so let me hurry up. But, um, yeah, so we go up. It's about fourth quarter now. Y'all hear that? I hate <laughs> I hate these planes, yo. 
I like being on planes, but I hate I hate hearing them, especially when I'm recording. But anyway, so fast forward to about fourth quarter, right? We we get it, we get the ball, and then we score, right? And then coach was like, Are "We gonna go for two. And I'm like, "All right, I'm coming off the field because I'm not really on that that squad to go for two. And then then my coach was just like, "Hey," and I was like. Hey, it was Coach DJ. <laughs> and that, was, that was the name. I was like, hey. He was like, hey. And then I was like, hey. And he was like, go on the field, man. We, it's, it's your time. It's, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. So, bro, I went on there, bro. I got, I got a little, got a little, got a little what? The HB dive, you know what I'm saying? Maybe 22 blasts, something like that. Because the way the run was set up, he just get like, Calais, which was our quarterback at the time, that was his name. And it, he just gave me the ball and just said go. So I was like, all right, <laughs> we figure it out. So I went and I, I, I cut left. Like I got ball, I ran like three yards up and cut left. And it was wide left too. And I was like, all right, I don't see nobody. Out of nowhere, the little dude comes, tried to get my leg. I'm like, bow, get off me, I don't need you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you're not welcome here, ah. Got him off me, you know what I'm saying? The other dude tried to grab my thigh and stiff arm him, and I walked straight up in there, right? Everybody celebrating, I'm talking crowd going crazy right now, right? right? Everything, I'm up here right now, right? But I don't know if y'all know, like, the way my life is set up is you can't be up here for too long. Cause eventually you just gonna bow. You just gonna come, you just gonna come right down here. That's how it normally works. And as of today, it's still been doing that. But on that day in particular, let's fast forward to after the game, right? I'm getting in the locker room, you know, we giving everybody giving me high fives and shit like that. So I get to taking you know my pads off and stuff like that, right? And then I start feeling some some tightening going on, right, in, in my thighs. And I'm just I'm just like, all right, I just need to get some water. So I went outside and we had a little water fountain. I just got some water. It was like we cool. Then it went away. I was like, all right, good. You know what I'm saying? Taking my pads off, you know, the little pad straps. If you ever play football, then you know what I'm talking about. You got to take the straps off. And then, so I get I get my my pads off, right, halfway. Cause you know. If you if you don't take your jersey off after you, you know what I'm saying, like before you put the pads on. So basically I had my shoulder pads in my jersey, but it was like over my head because I was trying to take it off and my arms got stuck, right? And my boy Atterbury, like, he was there, got me up, you know what I'm saying, got got it off. And then out of nowhere, both legs locked up. I'm talking about like this clink clink locked down. You ain't going nowhere. I fell on the ground, hit the ground hard. I was like, ah, ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's what happened, right? I'm like, ah, my legs. And okay, so I'm on the ground, right? And my hands cramp, my chest cramp, my arms, my toes, my neck. I didn't even know a neck could cramp before this. I didn't even know my hands could cramp before this. But apparently, <laughs> apparently they can. So I'm on there and I'm yelling. I'm like, yo, help. Because <laughs> like, I'm, li listen, like, picture this. I'm in the middle of a hallway. I'm on a hall, like, I'm, I'm on, like, the locker room. Like, the lockers is like this. I'm in, like, the middle, like, the hall section. We got lockers here and then lockers here and then the lockers on the other side. I'm here. I'm in the middle, laying on the ground yelling like ain't nobody else in here so it was just me i'm like ah get some help give me some help it's some help and then adam i heard adam very come back into the locker room and he saw me on the floor i was like i need some help and then i could hear adam Berry like running <laughs> i could hear him running to go get coach he was like help somebody help walter's dying <laughs> Walsh is dying. Help. They, you know, wasn't tired, but like, that was just hilarious that he said that. But, oh, uh, cause he, cause he saved me. He saved me, believe it or not. So, so like we, my, my coach, Coach Bassard, you know obviously I still go see him from time to time cause he still working at the high school, but he, he had to rub all the cramps out. I'm talking about like no homo. Like he was in my thigh, like 
getting knots on my thighs, you know, my back, my neck, my arm, my hand, my feet. He had to rub all the cramps out, no homo. Like, that's my guy for that. <laughs> that's, that's my man's for that. Much respect. Much respect to Mr. Bassar. He, he came and helped me out, man. He came and helped me. Because <laughs> long, long story short, bro, if he wouldn't have came, I would have just been there. I probably would have still been on the ground right now. It's just like, it would have been still there yelling. At the very wouldn't have said I was almost dead. And I probably would have still been on the floor. So shout out to him. <laughs> so, so shout out to Big Blueberry. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, he helped me out. But that's just to show. Uh, you know, you up here in life and out of nowhere, you just <laughs> you down here. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how life works. And that's how it turned out for me. Because you go from the best game that you think you'd ever have in life to the worst cramp <laughs> you can ever have in life. When I tell you everything cramped up, everything cramped up, bro. Literally everything cramped. I felt like, I don't even know. <laughs> so, I don't even know, that's how bad it was. But anyway, that was the story, man. That's that's the story. If you, if you watching it and you watched it all the way through, let me know you watched it all the way through in the comment section, man. Cause sometimes I be I be feeling like y'all be watching, but then y'all don't be like watching, watching. You know I'm right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all be watching, but y'all don't be like watching, watching, you know? Shout out to my do-rag. It's way. But anyway, that'd be it for the day, man. Like I said, if y'all like these story times, drop it in the comments. If y'all stay to the end, drop it in the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. It's a damn plane coming now. So I'm gonna get up out of here. Tell your mama to put the turkey and the roast in the oven because I'm gonna cut it when it get done. I'm out.